Hi guys, this is Divine Irony from Ghost of Zero, and I'm not even angry, I'm being so sincere right now, even though you broke your heart and killed me, and tore me to pieces, and threw every piece into a fire, we are doing part uh, 84 of the World of Warcraft Let's Play now, and we are flying to Shatrath, as you can clearly see, uh, talking to someone on Whisper there, and we are actually going to be doing a uh, little bit of the uh, Pilgrim's Bounty here. Don't know why I decided to do it, just for fun, I think. Uh, and I'm just eating food. Yeah, I'm gorging my face, stuffing my face with lovely turkey. I don't know even why I'm doing this. Uh, but for you, if you're wondering, Britain doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, so we don't get this delicious food. You get delicious food, we don't. Hmm. I don't know why I would even want to celebrate Thanksgiving, to be honest. Uh, we, we just get really, really... I don't know. I don't know. No, yeah. don't know what I'm saying really. Doesn't really make sense. Um, we just did a very very quick quest there, and the quest we're going to be doing now is we're actually going to be doing a quest uh, for the little uh, boy who is in the orphanage who wants us to kill and hurt and murder eels to give him some pristine shimmer scale eels, and when he'll do that, he'll give us a fishing pole. But to, on, to get that fishing pole, which we will vendor, we are have to kill some more eels. The good thing is, these eels have only got 3k HP, which means they die extremely quickly. The problem is, there aren't enough of them alive, and if there's more than one person farming these mobs, it can be very, very annoying to complete the quest. Now, if you've ever been, if you were playing pre-Burning Crusade, this is one of the best places to farm mods of air. In fact, uh, no... no. This is in water, it's Morts of Water. Okay, this was one of the best places to farm Morts of Water. Uh, but of course, no one buys Primal Water anymore, so it doesn't make a difference. We need to kill five, we need to kill, we need to, well, we need to get five more Shimmer Scale Eels. Pristine. No, pr no, we need to get five more Pristine Shimmer Scale Eel things. Hmm, okay. Yeah, what are we actually getting? Are we just picking up the entire corpse? I'm not even sure. What is a pristine shimmer scale eel? Does that mean we just kill them, pick them, uh, pick up their bodies? That must be what it means. Uh, we need to kill. We need to get two more of them now, as you can be very clearly seen. So let's that. That's seven, and this should be eight. Is it eight? No, it's not eight. Bad pristine shimmer scale eel. You are not pristine. You are a disgrace to your entire race. Okay. Now we've got eight of them. We're gonna fly to Shatraf. Handed into this nice, nice little orphan here, and we're going to get some quests. No, we're not going to get a quest. This is the last quest we're going to be doing for him. We're also going to be picking up some f quests for um, from these Arakoa, but that was the only quest. And we don't actually do the quest. We just picked up there, guys, because we have to go to Sephic Halls, and I don't care. I don't want to do it. Now, the quest we're doing now is we're going to be doing quests uh, for the Scenarian Expedition in the Scenarian Thicket. Uh, here, so all the druids have been killed by some unknown entity. This is Napfala. I was given a quest to kill him. Knew exactly where it was, where he was. Flew up to kill him. And if you notice, it was taking me a long time to kill him. When you're in the Scenarian type uh, Night Elf, well, Night of Village type place, uh, your stats that they get decreased by 5%. So if you're wondering why I'm doing a little bit less damage, that is why. Uh, now that we've we also examined the strange object that was in that um, little hut there, the inn really. It, I don't know what it's called, but let's call it an inn. Uh, we went in there, examined that strange object. We also need to uh, collect uh, samples from four Terramoths and four Vicious Terramoths. Now, the vicious Terramoths are in the vicinity of the uh, Scenarian deathbed. Uh, we need one more, so let's pull them. Uh, there you go. He has not given us what we wanted. Please, this guy, give us what we want. We did. We now have four Terramoth samples. You need to go just south of that Scenarian ruin there, and you'll find these Terramoths. Now, these Terramoths are neutral. They don't aggro you. You have to pull them yourself, uh, meaning they're a little bit... Uh, they're a little bit easier to kill, but really they're all easy. They're only they're moths for God's sake. I mean, how how hard is it to kill a moth? Not very hard, unless it's a very very determined moth who's had a bad life and is now uh, and has now gone into the mixed with the wrong crowd and uh, has gotten his hands on some guns. Then a moth can be a very dangerous thing. 
Uh, if you notice, I'm not making any sense. Um, let's kill these Terramoths. We need to get one more Terramoth samples. Will it? Will he, this guy drop it? Will he drop it or will he not? Let us wonder until it happens. There, it doesn't work. There you go. Four Terramoth samples. And we can hand in the quest to this guy. We did a lot of quests in a very uh, quick time. We need now to find a broken guy called Empor. Here he is. We talk to him. He attacks us. You don't have to kill his bodyguard, but I just wanted to. When he gets to low health, uh, you need to talk to him. He gives you a quest to go to Shatraf to talk to... He gives you a quest to go to Shatraf to talk um, to a uh, ethereal. And the ethereal is called Win Trader Lafral. If you're wondering what I was doing there, I was going to that Arakoa ruin because I thought we had a quest there, but we don't, so it didn't really matter really. Here's the Wind Trader. He wants us to go to Vale Sif or something to uh, get his stolen goods. We will not be doing it in, that, in this video, guys, but uh, over the course of the few next videos, we will do it. What we're doing now, if you're wondering, is we're flying uh, past all these orc camps, uh, up through terra cars, uh, lovely, um, lovely jubbly trees and forest. We're going to be flying to the Alarian stronghold where we're going to be getting our first few quests. And here it is. An awesome city type thing. It's really just a keep, really. Uh, we, pick up the, we picked up the flight path. Handing in the few quests around the place. And... Not really much to say besides that. Uh, we're talking to this these people here. We get some kill quests, get some fetch quests. Most of them are kill quests, really, though. Uh, my head's going a little bit weird now because I've been talking continuously since part 80. So that's five parts, so 50 minutes of non-stop talking. Which is probably why I'm making considerably less sense as I go along. Um, yeah, my eyes have gone. Okay, the first quest we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the Magical Disturbances quest. We need to kill Warp Stalkers. Specifically, we need to kill 10 Warp Stalkers. Now, these can be found just outside the Alarian Stronghold. The problem with these Warp Stalkers, however, they randomly go in and out of focus and they turn randomly invisible sometimes. So you can be ganged up by more than one, but it's very unlikely because they're quite far apart. Now, the other quests we're going to be doing at the same time is, is the Alemba Seeds quest, and these are these little blue type seed things that you can find close to trees. Uh, you just We just pick them up as we do other quests. We're not going to try to do that quest. Uh, we're going to be doing it as we do other quests. And as you notice, we have almost completed the Warp Stalker quest. Uh, just this Warp Stalker now, and there we go. We're going to fly north now. We're going to fly north. Uh, we're going to kill this damp scale devourer to pick up this Alemba Seed. And we're going to be doing two quests at once. Now, for this vi for this video and the beginning of the next video, we're going to be killing timber wargs, which are these type wolf things. If you've done some quests uh, in, um, if you've done some quests uh, in the human starting zone, you'll recognise the model. And the other quest we're going to be doing is to kill twelve warped peons. Now they're all over the place. It's not very difficult uh, to do that. The problem is very much with the timber walks because we need to get tim 12 timber walk tails. The problem is they don't drop them that often, which means we're going to have to be killing a lot of timber walks uh, to complete this quest. The good thing is they give nice experience, uh, relative really, but the warped peons can be found all over the place, so uh, you should complete that quest way before you've completed the timber walk quest, just because of the amount of items you need from the timber walks. But uh, nevertheless, we have got three, four now, so we only need to do what we've done since we came here four times. Wait, no, four times three is twelve, three times. I, I can't, I've lost the ability to do math. Okay, uh, seeing as there's not much left of the video, guys, I'm going to say goodbye, thank you for watching, I hope to see you in part 85, and I hope this wasn't boring, and we're going to be doing more quests in Terracar.